I was like, you know what? Let me do my hair, baby. Let me be kind of like, why not? Duh. I always change my hair based on how I feel and what outfit I'm wearing, duh. <laughs> Hello. It just feels so odd, but it looks so good. I need to hurry up, you know? I'm gonna quickly do this, baby. Body ones look dull, ew. Hey girl, what up? Welcome to a new video. We are gonna just jump right in because I'm literally <laughs> on the heels of another video. <laughs> so I need to continue on because I gotta go. So welcome to my channel. We are doing a full get ready with me. It's unusual to just jump in like this, but we gotta do what we gotta do to make this happen. So obviously you just saw I had a face mask on. It's from Believe Beauty, which is in Dollar General. All right, so I already have a lot of serum on. That feels really good. It is the evening time. I'm thinking through what to put on next. Honest to God, I'm gonna just put on my moisturizer and keep on moving because I don't have time. <laughs> okay, this is the La Mer, the moisturizing soft cream. My skin does feel extremely moisturized. I kept the mask on from right after when I shaved my face. I kept it on in the shower. I washed my hair in the shower. I mean, I was doing a lot of things. I did hair removal on my legs. So I used Nair to do the hair removal. I did a lot. So that, the serum in that mask really had a lot of time to absorb into my skin. Well, my skin is feeling good. If you haven't seen that video, which is my summer body care, you know, like reset kind of routine. Make sure you watch, okay? And then quick SPF is this Shiseido Clear SPF sunscreen stick. Gonna quickly do this, baby. Use your SPF, wear it at all times. No need for you to be skipping that. I am gonna do my basic look today because I need to hurry up, you know? I am gonna walk you through my slick back bun in case you haven't ever seen me do it, so. I'm gonna do a slick back. I actually had this hairstyle yesterday and today, but I want it to be fresh since I got somewhere to go. I did co-wash my hair. I did hydrate my hair. So I'm not gonna go through all of what I used to get here, but I am going to use this Sal Gennetto hair gloss. I like to take an ample amount because why not? I do not like my hair to look dull. All the more reason why I'm refreshing this, because like I said, I did this yesterday. But I didn't want it to look dull, ew. Making sure that it looks fresh by redoing it. So you may think that because the hair's wet, what's the point of putting oil on it? I do think it makes a difference. So oil first. The Eco Styler Gel, this is done, but it ain't that done. So we still need to finish it, duh. Now my hair is not gonna be completely dry by the time that I leave, but that's okay. As long as the front is dry, that is all I care about. All right, so now I brush it down before I fix the bun. This brush is not as hard as I need it to be, but it's gonna suffice. Oh, I need a harder brush, jeez. You know, a harder brush will really get these hairs down, but here we are. So the outfit I'm wearing, I feel would go a lot better with my hair all pulled back, just to focus on the outfit and not my hair. You know, certain hairstyles go with certain outfits. Not every hairstyle that goes with every outfit. If you're like me and you choose your hairstyles or your wigs based on your outfit, comment and let me know. If you do, then you know what's going on, okay? Unless you just have, let's say, a pixie cut and then that's your everyday style, you never change it with wigs, then fine, right? Like that's just is what it is. I used to have short hair. I used to cut, I used to, I used to have a TWA, very, very short, tapered. I used to go to the barbershop, I mean, it was, it was short, okay? So that was an every outfit style. But then again, I was still doing wigs. So I always change my hair based on how I feel and what outfit I'm wearing, duh. Hello. So this has got to be the black bottle and this is what really holds everything down. The gel does an okay job. Mm -mm. The got to be is what glues it all together, obviously. Once I apply it to my head like that, then this is where I use this brush and I'll link all these products below too. And I normally do some kind of design. Girl, I do not have time for that today. 
I just don't even feel like it. So here we go. Gotta use the hands to further lay it down. I really want it to be as flat as possible. Not so much wavy, you know? And then paper wraps, or wrapping paper. This is the key. It's gonna allow for air to penetrate to help it dry fast. When I'm really in a rush, I will use a hair dryer and it'll dry really fast, obviously. But I'm about to stay here and do makeup and I can't wear a hair dryer and do makeup. <laughs> so we're gonna just let it air dry and using something like this helps it to dry really fast. If you were to try your, tie your head tie on top of this, it would take ages to dry. So get these paper wraps, okay? All right, so I forgot to tell you, I'm headed to dinner with a friend I haven't seen in a very long time. And I, <laughs> Like I said, was filming another video before this, and this was two hours ago, mind you. So I am an hour and a half in, and this is my second video. So content creation, yeah, we be out here grinding this stuff and whatever, all the things. Hi. So I was like, you know what? Let me do it, everybody. Let me be kind of like, why not? Ugh. So I just washed this Elf sponge. We'll link it below. You know, I love the ones from Amazon. I just. I have so many and this elf one was there and I'm like, oh yeah, let me use this too. It's not as dense. How do you say it? it's less dense? I don't know the word. I like it a lot. All right, so done my skincare, right? Let's see. And now let's take off this chap lip balm. Thank God I already have my outfit picked out as you saw in the thumbnail. <laughs> that dress FYI, I've had for ages. I actually need to go look and see where it's from. Next, can't stop, won't stop, rub and pat quickly so I can link it. I doubt there's a link though, so sorry in advance. And I'm wearing breast tape for the first time. Not a good idea to try and wear that for the first time when I'm pressed for time, right? <laughs> Who would have thunk it? But I did not think that that first video would take that long. It was very intric intricate, so it did take long. Yo, this Makeup Forever HD foundation is still going hard. I am not taking a matte foundation because it is evening time and I don't anticipate being really, really hot. I feel like this would be good to keep me looking alive and a little juicy, but not too much. I did shave my face in that other video, so come see skin. Oh my gosh. I was just diffusing the potential harsh line that was on my chin. Let me just go like this too, because I don't necessarily want makeup. On my chin. Now this is Lawless One and Done Concealer. So this is Mink. Make sure you watch my video on makeup sponges and how to make sure that it's damp and not soaking wet. But this one is indeed damp. <laughs> There's a big difference. And if you don't know, you just really don't know. That's a nice contour. I want it to be loud. KBD Vegan Beauty, Good Apple Balm, 98. I want it to be deep. It's the evening time. Hello. Yo, this Say Radiant Translucent Powder, I have been loving recently. I'm so shocked. I tried this in a video. I believe I was testing new products or chit chatting. I was doing something and I tried this. Wow. I like it a lot. It looks crazy when you first put it on, but what? Just blend it in and it melts right into the skin. And it looks so good once I do everything. I already did my under eye. This one is nothing new, LYS, No Limits Bronzer. I'm the color worthy. This is really a contour though, you know? Leftover product under the chin. So what I normally like to do. If you've used any of these products, like them, love them, comment and let me know. And if you've been around here for a while, then you know that I have been in love with this Patrick Star Versatile Powder Foundation in the color Dark 4G. This is my joint. Yo, on a freshly shaved skin, when you put on your makeup, it just feels so naked because you're going right onto your skin. There's no buffer of the vellus hair. You're just touching your bare skin. It just feels so odd, but it looks so good. Got the Luminizer going from Rare Beauty. This is the color Flaunt. I always use this one. Ooh, looks so good. The sun in the background is driving me insane in the membrane, messing up the whole entire judge, but we still gotta move, okay? So this eye look is my usual everyday 
glam look that I've done several times here on YouTube and also on IG. This is the Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara. I'm gonna put on my usual everyday lashes and I'm gonna link everything below. And then mascara underneath my eyes or my lower lash line is gonna be Lawless One and Done. You know the deal. Ooh, okay, transitioned over to my vlogging camera. Tom Ford, oh, Rose Desheen, I do have on Brassy Bra, so that's what you're seeing. I'll link everything below, like I said. Tom Ford, Rose Desheen, come on, baby. Okay, so I am vlogging. This lighting is not good at all. You'll see in the vlog, but here's the full outfit, and of course, you've seen the picture already, right? I'll link all this below. This is Amazon Shoes at Eagle Official. So thanks for watching this Get Ready With Me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.